It's fun because you can do activities, make stuff. I made this with the Washington Pavilion program and I learned a lot today. Science is fun because you get to take one thing and it turns into something else. You're learning but you don't really know it because you're having a lot of fun. And what's better than combining both sides of your brain together, which is actually what this program provides. Action Arts and Science is a program that we uh, do out of the Community Learning Center here at the Pavilion. And we go out to Title I elementary schools, um, some middle schools, and also JDC and the Multicultural Center. The one thing that connects the different places that we partner with is that they serve kids who are coming from Title I schools. Um, typically, those are areas where there are financial challenges for families. We go to 21 different locations, we reach 500 kids a week, and we teach them all about the great, wonderful things that arts and science can, can bring. Some of them already know they have artistic ability and really enjoy it. Others really haven't experienced any success in art, so it's something new for them. We actually got a 21st Century Community Learning Center program grant, and that provided us an opportunity to reach out to even more kids in the Sioux Falls community. The federal, federal government actually supports this grant, and one of their main aims is the STEM programs, the science programs. And what, what's extra special about this program, it's also providing the arts, which they have so much knowledge about at the pavilion. And uh, the fact that they're bringing that home to the children is something that maybe uh, is not being provided to kids from other, other places in our education system. My name is Juvian Ababaker, and I go to Lincoln High School. I am a senior, I am 17 years old, and I am from Turkey. When I met Juju, I met her at the Multicultural Center Middle School After School Program. I could tell she had a talent for art um, and a talent for communicating. About four years ago when I first moved here, um, I didn't speak English at all. I couldn't even write my own name. She was a student who had artistic ability coming in and to have a role model like Mercedes who was there every week to encourage her, to tell her this was a path that she could pursue and that she was good at, uh, I think was something that really helped her to develop confidence. <laughs> This is the uh, National Arts and Humanities Youth Program Award. We are the first South Dakota group to ever receive this honor, so we're very thrilled to go and represent South Dakota on the national scene and the wonderful work that's being done with arts here in our state. Um, and what's neat is that we get to receive the award at the White House. Um, the First Lady will be the person who presents it. Growing up, I, w I never thought I'd get to go to America. Like That was something no one thought of. And when I did, it was like, yes, better education opportunities. My parents were really happy about it. And then now, meeting Michelle Obama, I'm, I just got my citizenship like a few days ago. And then the fact that just a month later, I'm getting to meet Michelle Obama, I feel like a real American. <laughs> Well, it's a fabulous honor that, of course, we didn't expect. We all do this because we love to do it. We love to go out in the community. We love to mentor kids. Um, we love what we do, and to be honored was just gravy. Not a lot of people know about the Action Arts Program, so I think it's really important for kids to come out here and learn about both science and arts and figure themselves out the way I did. Yeah.